Oh, what the heck? I love you. Love you too. What? Minecraft. Oh, Minecraft? Yeah. Sorry, I have to do that again now because I just realized the YouTube uh, wasn't on, wasn't streaming yet. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Name of the day is Bambino. You can also call me Nathan, you can call me Nathan, but please never call me Nathaniel. Bambino? Yes, Bambino. Isn't that the, that's like the Italian word for kid. It's also the name of uh, Babe Ruth. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're going to redo episode 10. Um, after the disaster that was yesterday, uh, I'm going to restart it. Uh, we had disaster both in the runs like I was just not playing well and like full disclosure yesterday I got like four hours of sleep before the stream um, So I was like really really not in good shape and in addition just didn't play well That's part of it. The second part is that the stream just completely failed uh, Had to restart it had to and the the twitch stream was all messed up I could never get the YouTube back up the video quality during certain segments was awful so I couldn't even use the footage. It was just bad. So we're doing a full re, a full do over of uh, episode ten of the How to Win Monster Trend Covenant Twenty Five. So if you were here yesterday, some of this is going to be very similar to what you heard yesterday. Some of it will be new. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do the same setup that we've done with the other uh, champions. We're going to start with theory, go into logbook, and talk about um, you know my approach to uh, doing. The uh, the little fade runs. Hey, Rough Lobster, welcome back. Um, and then uh, I'll also, you know, go into each run. I have a little bit better game plan, I think, going into it than I did last time. Uh, especially which champ, which uh, champion upgrade pass I'm going to pick. I want to do all three. And part of the problem with uh, little fade, and we'll talk about this when we get into the logbook, is that not all champion paths are created equal. And it makes it a little bit challenging to try to figure out how to make at least one of the past work, um, and another one's kind of sketch anyway. But you know, let's uh, let's jump into the logbook, and we can start talking about that. So Little Fade has three champion upgrade paths: um, Firelight, Eternal Flame, and Little Icarus. Uh, Firelight is the preferred of the three. It's the strongest champion upgrade path in all of Monster Train because it's so consistent. Especially once you get past ring three, it becomes very easy to get uh, even just two or three units on the same floor as Little Fade. Um, and you hopefully by then are focused on trimming your deck and you get value out of the trigger. So how does Little Fade work? How does the Firelight Little Fade work? Little Fade has an Extinguish Trigger. Um, extinguish Triggers are when this unit dies, apply the following effect. Um, Extinguish triggers are on a lot of different kinds of units, so you also get them on two units and on uh, the uh, Legion of Wax and on Bounty Stalker, uh, Votavari as well. So there's lots, and lots of different units that can have extinguish effects, and the basic way the extinguish works again is when it dies, it has the effect, and there are some modifiers, particularly one artifact which modifies extinguish effects. This is the Waxer Snuffer. Waxer Snuffer will double all um, extinguish effects. So you can get uh, basically the same effect twice. Um, with Firelight, that extinguish effect is add damage and health and burnout to all units behind Little Fade. Um, so there's a lot of like really good synergies you can do, which is why it's such a strong build. Um, and by the end, when you're adding plus 25 damage onto units, that is a lot of damage per time that Little Fade dies. And that's not considering things like Intent on Death, which is a card which uh, applies the Extinguish effect without actually killing the unit, um, and other shenanigans, like things like killing and rezzing and um, reforming and then killing again and so on. So there's a lot of things you can do to try to get even more value out of the effect. What you primarily want is units that have sweep, units that have trample, units that have multi-strike because all of them will get extra effect uh, from the damage than normal. The other thing that's quite good is any kind of burnout synergies. Um, we're going to be doing, yeah, we're going to be doing like uh, things like potentially the um, paraffin enforcer, which then gives burnout to all those units, although you don't really need it. So there's a lot, there's a lot of synergies, and then again. Um, the more units you have, the better, 
because it only affects the floor where uh, Little Fade dies. So then things like um, Tomb Units, Imps, uh, Drafts, I mean, Drafts are like the premium, but anything that's one capacity ends up being really valuable because you can get more of them onto a floor and get more of them affected by the burnout. That's then Firelight. Second build, our second upgrade path is Eternal Flame. Eternal Flame is by far the most difficult to make work because it doesn't have an immediate effect. Um, with Eternal Flame, you really need uh, time. Um, you have to have time for Little Fade to die repeatedly and then come back and then uh, hopefully be able to create some value after the second or third death. Uh, and that can make it really, really challenging uh, because you have then all this ember you're investing into Little Fade and you can invest into other things and you have to do it early because you need to get the effect of Little Fade early. So it's kind of awkward. Uh, what can make it easier is intent on death or self-killing mechanisms. So if you can self-torch, if you can, um, yeah, using a sacrificing, uh, or yeah, sacrifice, any type of way you can kill off Little Fade on your own can help with that um, to try to get the effect to happen faster. But yeah, it's it's... A little bit of a weird thing trying to get Eternal Flame to work. Uh, it scales extremely well. I mean, you look at like rank three, you're getting 140 damage every time it dies. Um, it's a lot of damage, but the problem is it doesn't multi-strike, it doesn't sweep, so you're at best killing the front enemy unit, and then you don't want it in the front because it has like very little health, so then you have to put her in the back, but then your backliner is killing not a front enemy unit. So it's, it's a little bit of a weird situation. It's kind of difficult. Things that can help mitigate that are things like Trample, or um, if you can get the uh, what's the what's the spell? It's in the um, it's in the awoken that swaps health and damage. That can be a little bit valuable, and then you could actually use a little phase of tank. It's a little bit of a weird one, but that can work. Um, but it's it's a little bit awkward. Really, intent on death makes it feasible as a build, and without it, you can struggle a lot. Uh, also, the Waxer Snuffer helps because then you can scale up, you can let her die once, and then immediately she's already usable. So that's and that's normally what I try to do. I try to get to two deaths, sometimes three, but usually not more than that. One, because you don't want to invest that much into Ember, and two, because it just takes so long. You're investing it over time, and by the end, that's like, if you have her die three times, that's six Ember and three draws you've invested into Little Fade, which is a huge investment. That's really slowing the rest of your build down. So that's why I say it tends to be the most difficult of the three. Um, and even when it's very powerful, oftentimes it's very powerful in ways that you could have done with any other upgrade path. Oh, and uh, as a last uh, added bonus, uh, Little Fade also as Endless doesn't get reformed, which also means that your starting spells have a little bit less value because you have one unit you start with that isn't going to be able to be reformed. But anyway. That's everything to do with Eternal Flame. Next and last is Little Icarus. So Little Icarus has uh, a different kind of effect. It's a permanent effect. There aren't that many units that have permanent effects. There's Overgorger, there is Bounty Stalker, and there's Little Fade, Little Icarus upgrade path. Um, with Little Icarus, the upgrade path is that every time you kill a unit on Slay, you gain plus damage and plus spikes permanently for the rest of the run. Uh, some numbers that you can target are at ring three. You want to leave ring three with at minimum 20. You want to ring, ring, leave ring six with a minimum of 100. And you want to go into Seraph with around 120 to 150. Um, if you're not hitting those numbers, it could be very, very difficult for Little Fade to have an impact throughout the rest of the game. Um, so some important parts are, or important things to consider is uh, trying or don't take armor trials with Little Fade. Uh, especially at ring one, because you're not going to kill anything and you're not going to scale at all. And that's going to just basically kill you for the rest of the run. Um, ring two, you sometimes can. If you have more than 10 spikes, you can go into ring two with, um, with armor and you might be okay. Uh, and then later on, normally it's not such a big issue. So if you get to like, you know, ring seven and they're getting plus 20 armor, plus 20 armor is not going to make a difference when you're having like 100 spikes. So... Uh, it's not as critical. And it's all about how quickly you get spikes. The better you scale her, the better she'll be. Uh, other things that can help a lot are uh, things that increase her health and sustain. So if you can get damage shield, if you can get armor, if you can get um, you know, something like cycle of life, 
All of those are gonna help her to live longer, which means more spike damage and more value out of her during Relentless. I think that's a good enough introduction. Uh, let's jump into the runs. So we're gonna start as we do with Hellhorned. And when we tried it the first time, we went with Torch and that seemed to be okay. I think we'll probably do that again. Uh, the Queen's Implings are just not that great. The only thing that's good about them is that you can fit lots of them. The problem is that because they're not priority units, you can't guarantee they're going to show up when you need them. But certainly, if you get like a Firelight build, it could be quite good. I'm not 100% sure if we'll go Firelight here. I might try to do the Eternal one with this build. Um, could work. The main reason being is uh, with Eternal Flame, uh, there are a lot of Ember-related stuff you can do with um, Hellhorn that might make it more feasible to, to run. Hey Jim, welcome to the stream. So we're going to try that. Uh, it's different than we did last time, but also getting the Eternal Flame out early would uh, make the rest of this uh, stream much less stressful. So we're going to try it that way. If we don't get Eternal Flame, we'll take uh, Firelight. Okay, so Swimming Blade is interesting. It doesn't really lend itself that well to Eternal Flame uh, unless we get some type of like draw mechanic. If we can get like a play three cards and draw then it's quite good because you can use that plus a couple other cards and then you get little fade back immediately. It's better with Firelight because then you can use it to kill Firelight, res Firelight, and then get more value immediately. Molten Encasements are also pretty good with um, Eternal Flame as a way to protect it. And uh, so we'll see how it goes, but there's some different interesting mechanics here. So Queen's Tail. Queen's Tail would be a way that we could actually kill with Subsuming Blade, play an Imp, and then play Little Fade. That could work. So already not an awful start, although we just end up getting Firelight. We're not gonna go Little Icarus, Little Icarus here. We're gonna go, we'll go Firelight. So this should be a pretty straightforward run. Um, but obviously would have liked if we could have gotten a turtle flame here because I think this is actually a pretty decent setup for it Spikes is fine And what we'll do is we'll get a floor stacked with imps we'll play here. I actually don't even mind just clearing the floor here um, Play you both out Not there though Well, that wasn't ideal. Let's play you here. I mean, I guess we just clear the floor again. Seems a little sketchy, but maybe it's okay. Where is that subsuming blade? <laughs> All right, let's play you out. Play you out. Get two train stewards up top. And then we're going to guaranteed get subsuming blade here. So we can kill her. And then immediately bring her back in the front. That's going to give them all a lot of damage and health. And then we're already doing 54 damage. If we get her back again. Okay, even if we don't, we can still play this. Try to get her back here for the top floor. And I think then we should be okay. Okay. 64 damage. Okay, we'll take 5 damage. That's not bad. 5 damage for an early trial. It's certainly a good trade. All right. Um, I think it's molded here. The burnout extension is also kind of interesting. Uh, we'll skip this. I think we have enough AOE with the uh, molting imps. I'm doing a take two because yesterday's stream failed. And when I went to go put together the video, I couldn't actually splice it. So it failed during the fourth run. I didn't realize that the recording failed on the fourth run. And then on the fifth, yeah, no, that's right, on the, on the fourth run. So it's basically unusable uh, during the Umbra run. Um, so we're going to do a full take two. And just, uh, plus, I mean, we had some really crappy runs. I was not playing well. I was on four hours of sleep. Um, now I rested completely. You can tell because I didn't do my hair, so it means I slept in too long to <laughs> care. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, so we're just gonna do a full take two and uh, see if we can get a better run going here. Um, I'm gonna go demon now 
And we'll take a Rail Beater. Rail Beater is going to be slightly better uh, because of the capacity. And here, I don't really love any of this. I think I'm going to reroll and hope for... See, endless, endless on the molten, molten encasement's not bad, but the question is, do we actually need it? I feel like we just don't need it. I also don't feel like we need health. Maybe extra burnout onto something is not bad. We could put it on the molten encasement and put endless, and then we could actually get a second floor. Which you normally, I normally don't do that with uh, Firelight, but it might actually be relevant. If we could get something like, um, yeah, this is fine. We'll take some damage, potentially, depending on what imps we get early. But uh, I think it's actually okay. So then we go something like, um, you, you, and you. Would like uh, molten imp, molten imp here seems really good. We can also play you up top. Uh, bring back the other one. Now nothing up there is surviving, and we can put you in the back here. We need a uh, subsuming blade so that we can kill little fade. In the meantime, we'll just keep playing this out. Uh, yeah, I guess this is fine. A little bit awkward. Play you here. No subsuming blade. Maybe should have considered playing that on the bottom, but we'll go like this. Um, play you there. This is not this is not the way to play this. Playing the uh, oh my gosh, playing the uh, little fade there costs us a lot here. Uh, we can play you to at least get some value, and then we have to hope that we get something way better for this top floor. We don't get anything. Okay, please. Little Fate actually came back. The question is, does it make a difference? We do eight damage. Oh, because they all die. We do 24 damage. Are we living? Eight hits at 32, eight hits at six, no, five hits, four hits. Four hits at six, 24, it's not enough. So we that was just a bizarre way to play that whole sequence. So that was stupid. I should have just let Little Fate die. Um, what we can do instead is put this Molting Imp here. Then Little Fate dies. The Molting Encasement still protects them, but we don't have this conflict like we had before. Okay, so we can bring her back. I'm also like, I mean, I'd love to do Molting Imp here. I don't know if Little Fade is going to be able to do enough. Um, 10, I mean, we'll... Do we go with a two-floor setup here? I mean, all of them are going to die to uh, Burnout if we don't play her. So we're going to do that. Take care of you guys. Get rid of that. Okay. AoE clears that floor, and then you know what? I'm gonna play you up top here, and maybe you back here. Would really like to get little fade right now. I think it's guaranteed. Would also have loved to have gotten subsuming blade, but it's fine. We'll play this. We can play another one. Just trying to get as much damage as possible here. And we're going to take two more damage. Okay. A uh, little bit problematic is that we lost all of our units. 
But we can bring back the rail beater. Who's doing a lot of damage. We can then subsuming blade one of them. Putting it up to 115. Railbeater does 35. And Impling does another. What? 47. So we'll take two hits. 12 damage. It's not bad. We can't afford that. All right, so rougher second ring. Uh, Wicklash would help, I think, more than Purifying Cleanse. And skip. I think we're already at the point where Sacrifice or sacri Subsuming Blade is the word I was trying to say. Subsuming Blade is uh, now in good shape. I think we go with um, you on a separate floor. We go with basically imps, and then we go with the armor dude, the molten encasement, because we really don't need him to get all the stats, but we'd love to get imps because the imps are only one capacity. Let's get holdover on subsuming blade and minus one. That way we can always kill off little fade and start stacking the units quite early. And... Monster Rail Spike on a Train Steward. Yeah, because once we get the... Uh, once we get the... Um, the Tomb... We can just kind of have that roll for a while. We're going to play you, and then you. And... Honestly, just let her die. It's fine. Okay, we can already bring her back. We want you here. And we're gonna still hold out for, um, hopefully, I don't wanna play it on this floor, I wanna get it with imps. So I'm greeting a bit, but I think it's okay in the long run. Cause we can already bring her back. And then we can, oh, we got the imp back. Gotta be kidding me. All right, let's play you, or maybe you. Yeah, that's much better. We can play you here as well. Play you. And we need the like targeted mold. That's good. But now we can play Little Fade Out. Play all of our imps. Um, I think an imp here is pretty good. Then we can go Molting Imp. And... Queen's Imp... Oh, Wicklash. I think the Wicklash is better. Okay. There we go. We can play you out now. Subsuming Blade. Ah, oh, crap. We didn't get her back. Uh, I was on the stream, someone was at common 10 ish. Uh, what best players would tell them to accelerate to come 25? I mean, just doing a full little fade, um, firelight run, like a series of runs, would get you there. It's a little bit lame because it's just basically doing the same thing over and over again, but it's a pretty surefire way. Uh, let's go little fade here. This will draw. We can bring back another unit as well. An impling. Mm -hmm. That should be enough. Yep. Get you rolling. And big buddy. Okay. Got the Harvest Tycoon to be thick enough. Yeah, that's the other good one, Jim. Jim's right. So Explosive Sentient's also a pretty easy one. Um, yeah. And then you just get Incanters, and you play them on the floor with, with uh, the Sentient, and you just Incant to your heart's delight. 
Um, do we need rage? I don't think so. Formless child doesn't make a lot of sense. We skip all this. And... Hmm. I kind of like Lady of the Reformed on that floor. So that uh, all of the units have plenty of burnout. And I'm going to start with draw. And we're going to pivot into uh, capacity later. Firelight Awoken is also very good because you can get the Animus of Will and the sweep units, which is obviously very, very good. Um, I don't think we need two endless multi encasements. Although, no, it's too many. It's too many things we have on holdover. Let's just stack your health, or maybe your health. Stack you with some of this, and we're gonna go. So we're gonna do imps plus a uh, imps plus a lady of the reformed on the little fade floor, and then we're gonna have molten encasements plus wickless baron on the other floor. And we just need to remove a lot of units. We don't even need that many upgrades because they get enough damage from just little fade. Uh, so we'll play it as before. Get you rolling. Get you here. And let's get this imp behind and give it Wicklash already. Yeah. Okay, get you in there. Get you in there. Um, pop you. And get you as well. We're not killing quite as many things as I would like, but what we can do is Subsuming Blade into Impling. What? Let's play you here. Oh, so close. We will kill the first one, but it would have been nice to kill the second one. We're going to take 22 damage. What if we Subsuming Blade you and put a Tomb in front? Let's play this down here. Or potentially get a something something better. Like Little Fade would be really good here. Who else do we have? We have Little Fade and we have an Impling. We got the Impling, because why wouldn't we get the Impling? Uh, but now at least everything but him is dying. Problem is, one more leak and we die. Okay, now we can bring back Firelight, or uh, Little Fade, sorry. And we can Subsuming Blade you. Or Subsuming Blade you into imp or you know what let's do the imp down here get the molten encasement here and they're killing everything okay good now we should be fine though uh as long as we can bring back little fade once i mean that would be the ideal but even if we can't um we can do both of uh let's play these guys out and we'll do this one here, this one here. Okay. And how are we doing? It's not amazing yet. We can play you out. That gets us to 430. And there's Little Fade. And then just uh, give you more stats. And we're killing it on the top floor. We just have too many units. We have too many imps. So we need to start uh, trimming down. And we need to get holdover on the targeted molded. 
Honestly, I'm taking the money here. We don't have enough money to be able to do that. Remnant Host is pretty good, but I think it's not worth it. I think the stealth is enough. We're gonna try to get both stealth units rolling. And with both stealth units on that floor, like it's not really needed. I think we can skip all this as well. So we want removal and more unit upgrades. It does mean we can't get more pyre health, unfortunately. Uh, train steward and of our units, I think the AOE imps are more important. So we're gonna get rid of some implings. We only want to get one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want f we want three imps basically. Three imps and that is ooh. You know what? Let's do this. It's 15 pyre health if we can play it on a on a at a time when we only need to play um, something. Ooh, yeah, Lady of the Reformed because she's going to be on our main floor there. Um, more health onto Railbeater or maybe onto Wickless Baron, and let him tank now instead of Railbeater, and we'll leave it at that. Okay. Spell shield two. Uh, that's fine, because the only spell damage we do is with uh, Subsuming Blade, which pierces. Okay, um, so we go you, you, kill you. Although, if we play these... Hmm. Yeah, let's just do it. There's Subsuming Blade, but it's fine. So we play you guys like this. We're not going to get enough damage here. Uh, we got to try to get enough damage up on top. This is going to represent another... This So it's going to be 30, 60 damage. This is now doing 18. And then both of these guys... You know what we can also do is bring this guy back and kill the backliner here. And then put you up top. That's gonna be... Oh, but he kills everything! This could be a real problem. Wicklash just barely keeps us alive. But it does keep us alive. Play that out. Bring back an imp. Cool. Alright, this... uh Lady of the Reformed is going to be our ticket to success. Fantastic. Exactly what we wanted. Uh, AoE is good. Wicklash you again. Play you out here. Okay. Now I think we're doing enough damage with her that we're not stressing too much. We will still bring back Little Fade. We can also bring back now thicker units. Play you. Um, this is guaranteed to be an imp. It's not an imp that will live, unfortunately. But then we can just subsuming blade black liner there. Cool. Okay, so we go you. And here we just want as many units as we can get onto the floor. So a couple of these guys. Oh, crap. Well, it's fine. It's a little bit sad. I would have liked to have been able to uh, play another unit, but uh, what we're going to do is just Subsuming Blade. Whew. Um, Subsuming Blade the boss, I think. Yeah. Okay. This is where we hope we get Little Fade. Fantastic. Subsuming Blade her. Now they have all the burnout they need. Uh, I'm actually going to play... Uh, what is better here? Playing this means I can play the Wicklash on the Lady of the Reformed. But honestly... Oh, I can't actually do that anyway. 
so it's a moot point. Uh, we can give them stealth. I mean, we don't need that much damage to kill him. In fact, we're already killing him, so... Very cool. Could have gotten some pyre health there. Probably should have done that. My bad. But we made it through without taking any pyre health, or pyre damage, which is really good. Uh, Wicked Blaze is kind of interesting, but I think here we just skip. And... Important work. Yeah, I don't mind it. Okay, um, so it's removal and spell upgrades. Again, removal... We need to get down to... Yeah, still three imps. So we'll get rid of two more Queen's Implings. And then we want holdover on the Molded Molded. So we can guarantee we can always get back Little Fade. Uh, don't need to do this. Minus one on Wicklash seems pretty good. And I think now we're in a much better position. Just having that molded on holdover is going to be huge to guarantee that no matter what, we always get back Little Fade. Because that was the problem. And it means we can kill her multiple times in a turn. Potentially. Um, let's go you up top. No. You here. You up top. Give you plus 10 damage. Seems okay. And you know what? 10 Pyre Health. Okay. Uh, play you up here. Play you up here. Because actually we can do this. Get you rolling already. To be fair, it's not a lot of damage yet, but we'll get there. Bring back the Imp. And now we're killing all three of them. Because we'll get enough damage between uh, Little Fade dying. So here, let's go for Little Fade now. Okay, we didn't get it, but we can play this here. Um, play this. We can kill Little Fade twice here. So we Little Fade. Subsuming Blade, hold over. Yeah, okay, we're actually not killing her here, but we get to play her out a second time. Oh, we uh, didn't kill the last guy. We took six fire damage, but that should be the last of it. So now we can Subsuming Blade, play our Molten Encasement, bring back Little Fade. Play this guy just for kicks. And play Molten Encasement just for kicks. Cool. Um, Subsuming Blade. Little Fate again. We can sack an Imp here. Just to get a better one back. And I think we're already also, oh my gosh, and Wicklash. Uh, Wicklash on you. We're already at the point now where she's killing the first one, those two are killing the second one. So we're in really good shape. Okay, we finally got through the statue on the bottom floor. <laughs> Took a hot minute, but we made it. Uh, we can kill and reform. So let's do it. And the extra capacity is going to be really big for us here. Bring back another Molten Encasement. And slowly we're whittling through this statue here. Okay. We're now doing 180 damage on the Lady of the Reformed. Not bad. Do that. Just give you more damage, uh, play you here, and nothing. Just Ember, for fun. How are you doing down here? We're actually not, I mean, it's not awful. We're getting 500 damage out. 
So Swimming Blade's becoming really, really, really nice for us. Uh, we can play you. And then we can play you. Slow going, slow going, but uh, it's kind of working. Oh, whoops, my mistake. Um, good luck. <laughs> Let's uh, see what else we get here. I guess we'll subsuming blade something else instead. Uh, or we could subsuming blade, but stealth. Oh, we don't need stealth though. Let's do this. Subsuming blade, the statue, and get you in there for posterity. And yeah, we're killing it. We can uh, subsuming blade, bring back little fade. Little fade's blocking all the damage here. Give you even more, and we are cooking now. Oh, hold on. I just realized why no one's watching on YouTube. The video is set to private. Hold on. <laughs> Let's uh, change this to public. And uh, select the playlist. Awkward. Now we're good. <laughs> All right. Let's jump into it again. Um, Bounty Stalker. I think is a little bit late. Yeah, we're doing little fade uh, retry. One horn's tome. I would think about putting it on to the rail beater, but it's like, what's the point? There's a chance that he sometimes kills a backliner, which then increases the damage onto one of the other. But it just doesn't matter. Yeah, we just skip here. Take the draw. Oh, we needed capacity. I guess it's fine. We were doing just fine. But capacity would have been really nice. Uh, apply endless to the first friendly unit summoned is pretty good. And at this point, hmm, what do we even get rid of? This molten encasement. And one last Queen's Impling, I think. Because we can only fit two of them. Upgrade spells. I don't know, just make everything free. Get this. Give this permafrost. No, give this permafrost. And then we're good. Now we just want unit upgrades. Firelight 3. So we'll take whatever side has unit upgrades. This side does its removal and duplicate. And maybe we get rid of the uh, we get rid of uh, our rail beater and just dupe our wickless baron, and then they can grow together. Spikes is not a problem. Okay, so uh, we're gonna play. Hmm, it's gonna be a lot of damage coming up. We'll play you. Play you. Little fade with Wicklash. Not a great starting turn. Okay. Uh, let's go Molting Imp. Into Molting Imp. Play the Queen's Imp here, and then redraw, or just make sure it's there. Okay. Wickless Baron comes back. We can bring back our buddy. Kill her off. Bring her back again. Not to mention that we can do this. 
Pop ya. Important work. Get the Stealth Tome. And play you again. Actually doing a lot of damage to the Backliner. And then we can still play the Impling. Uh, just to give them more time. More time to grow. And we had Wicklash anyway. So having her die then didn't really make a difference. I don't need her to have Endless because... In fact, I don't even want her to have Endless because I want her to... Um, I would rather have this imp be ha have endless or have endless instead. So we're gonna do that, and then sacrificial work to play it again. Bring back little fade. Put you out there, and let's just subsuming blade something. So subsuming blade on this guy. Get them rolling a little bit better. Yep. Okay, get you out there again. Um, bring back the Impling. Wicklash you. Subsuming Blade into Little Fade again. Little Fade does die, which is amazing. And to exact damage, to exactly 21 damage. And we're set. That is enough for us. Get you out there. And we still can Subsuming Blade. Still can play you out there. Cool. Get you out there again. Get you out there again. Uh, bring back Little Fade. Oh wait, that's the Rail Beater. Um, sacrificial Imp. Queen's Impling draws into a Primitive Mold. Kill her off, Primitive Mold her back. And how's it going? 284 again. I'm pretty sure we just need one hit to survive here. So we'll Subsuming Blade into Little Fade for maximum damage. Hey, and suddenly people are joining on YouTube now that it's uh, not hiding as a, uh, or not a private video. Cool. So we took five damage, and that's not bad at all. Crushing Demise is kind of interesting, but I think we'll just skip. Oh, engulfed, engulfed in Smoke, though. I also don't think we need it. A Fatal Melting. A Fatal Melting might be nice. And skip here. Um, because occasionally the backliners are going to start killing beyond just Little Fade, and that's a little bit scary. Let's remove and re-roll for some just generic stats. Yeah, this is fine. And yeah, we'll put it on you. So now the plan is we're going to keep reforming um, one of the imps, preferably the one that does the AoE, to kill things off. We can already start this train rolling. So we want you to be endless. You to be there. Uh, you to be there, you to be here. Okay. Then, um, let's play you in the back. Although we don't want it to be endless. So let's play you here. Play you here. Then we import and work it. Um, this one is the one we also want up here. And I'm not going to care about Rally. I think we're okay if we can just score enough damage early. I think we're going to be just fine. This one is going to be the one that's going to consistently do AoE on the middle floor. And uh, just kind of like be there to draw aggro. 
Okay. So, we want to bring back our buddy. Uh, this is where things get tricky because we actually want uh, we want to do the AOE now, but we also want to play the uh, molten encasement. This one's going up here. Okay, little fade up front. And then, uh, it's got to be better, right? Because that adds so much value to them. And we don't need them to get played. Like, it's good if they have stealth, but it's not going to be what saves them in the end. Um, bring back Little Fade. This is going to give you a lot of damage. Subsuming Blade her. Bring her back again. Oh wait, we didn't get her. Uh, play this. Important work. Did I give her endless? I probably gave her endless. Now she doesn't have endless. Now the imp has endless, I think. Oh no, it doesn't. It got killed. I'm like, my, my brain is completely scrambled. Who has endless right now? This guy has endless. You have endless. Okay. And we play you here to try to distract Seraph. Fantastic, that's exactly what we want. Um, bring back Little Fade for free. Play her. Kill her. Bring her back. Oh, she's endless! Well, there you go. She won't be endless after this turn, though. Should have played the uh, Molten Encasement first, my bad. Play you first, then play you. Subsuming Blade. Bring back both. AoE. Do that, and keep stacking damage. Cool. Seems to be going rather smooth now. As long as we keep playing the Molten Encasement properly, then we're good. There's going to be another turn where Seraph's going to get a lot of value, but the goal is that the value we're getting outside is uh, making up for it. 442 damage right now, and we're killing all this stuff. And now the question is, do we just play uh, the Molten Encasement up top with the expectation that we'll get more value out of the stealth they only have to hit Seraph. Let's see, they're doing 500, 500. You know, why don't why not both? We play it, we kill it, we play it again. It die. No, we play it, we kill it, we play Little Fade, but Little Fade doesn't die. Um. Two, four, it's 800 damage. We only have to hit three times. Seraph the Patient's doing 48 damage. Honestly, we're probably fine. Let's just do this for fun. Play Little Fade out. Kill her off. Bring her back. And we should be totally fine. Mm hmm. So, killer. Now I'm wondering though, because oh wait, we just need to remove. No, they're they're not going to kill little fade. I think we play the I think we play the stealth here. Oh. 
and just give you more time. Stealth means a full hit without getting touched. And we're killing. Now we're not even taking damage. Should finish it off right with a Wickless Baron? No, with Little Fade. Boom. There we go. Okay. So, first run went pretty smooth. Certainly better than, uh, than our runs we're looking yesterday. Now we're going to go for Little Icarus with Awoken again. Um, and what do we want in addition? Last time we got really greedy. We need to get more uh, burst damage. Burst damage is going to be best with who? Burst damage is going to be best... Oh, sorry. I think we go not with restores. I think we do the root seeds to get the draw. And then I think we go with... Yeah, I think we have to go with an Animus of Will. Yeah, Firelight Little Fade is uh, insanely good. Yeah, let's do uh, let's do Root Seeds and then go for Animus of Will for Burst. I think it's a lot more consistent. Okay, Wicked Blaze is also really good with Animus of Will if she dies. It's not bad. I think we take it. That's going to help us a lot early game. Okay, this is our Eternal Flame build. It's not the build we were hoping to get, but it's the build we're going to make work. I think with the Train Stewards, we're carried through almost all of the early game. And if they die, we, we reform them with uh, extra 10 damage, which is certainly pretty good. So we're going to go you. I'm going to play this for collector purposes. And then... You can have some regen, sure. There's a lot of damage shield in front of her by the end. Um, let's have her die again. And... I mean, I guess we can do this. So she kills that guy. I mean, she's going to die to this floor, which is pretty good for us. Uh, we can reform the train steward to kill most of the things that are there. Double root seeds on this train steward. Okay. He's killing both of them, admittedly losing some health in the process. Uh, but we can play on the bottom floor here. And Little Fade just kills. Cool. This is apparently the Eternal Flame build we were looking for all that time. Um, we already have two Purifying Cleanses. That seems less good. Drafts don't particularly seem great. Resident Removal for what? Ember Drain? Oh right, because you can then play around the top floor. Steel Enhancer or more Wildwood Sap. Let's get a tank. Let's get a big, big, meaty tank to put uh, all the regen onto. Wickless Baron seems fine. Multi-Strike? Quick. Um, you know what's interesting? Let's put this on the Wickless Baron, right? Put him up front and let him absorb the backliner's damages and then get bigger. Um, I don't think we want burnout on the thing. Quick. I also don't think we want quick. We want multi strike. What if we do spikes and multi strike and then just stack regen? That seems pretty good. And then let's give some generic stats to a train steward. And maybe that's it. I think that might be the whole build. We get uh, holdover and minus one on um, resin removal so that it's free. We get to play it every turn. It also gets rid of all the ember drain we might get. Um, any kind of, let me think. So this is exactly what I mean. This is like perfect. We can play little fade. 
Play Wickless Baron. Wickless Baron kills the backliner. Obviously not the frontliner here, but still, like, and still heals. And then we don't get any garbage in the deck. We would need a lot more spikes, certainly. That's fair. Yeah, Permafrost might be the play. So let's go Wildwood Sap. Uh, you need 20 damage. Let me think. You plus Root Seeds. It's a little bit unfortunate. We're actually going to forego Little Fade for a little while. Okay, we can play you. Suddenly we're killing everything. That seems okay. We need more things to die. And we're actually killing the whole floor. Okay. Razor Sharp Edge would be fantastic. Uh, Wicklash. I don't think is so great. Well, it's actually pretty good. If we, because if they die, we can then reform them. And they get pretty good when they're reformed. Plus, it's more things that we can play to consume. Um, sharpen. Then we can put more spikes onto our buddy. And I don't think we take any other units. Unless we want to put a hollow out there. Do we put a hollow behind the Wickless Baron and just play them together? That seems insane. Two, three, four. I think it's too many units. I mean, it is only two priority units, but. Hmm. Really struggling with this one. But I think we will. I think we'll skip. It's too reliant on getting these uh, Wildwood Saps out, and we don't have any like actual triggers right now. Let's go with uh, an Awoken unit. Animus of Will doesn't seem too bad, but I think we'll skip. And we just want to buff up. You know, let's make a thick one, a thick steward that has spikes. Purge a unit and get an upgraded one later. Can we survive without the Wickless Baron? Because if we can, he could get nutty, nutty, nutty. Oh boy, scary stuff. But then we can dupe him later too, and we could have two of them. By the way, if you watch my card ratings and wonder why train stewards are not a D, this is why. Because if you happen to get this combo, they're insane. They're like a C minus 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 minus. They're normally awful, but in the off chance you get advanced prototype, they're actually really strong. So this is a little bit awkward. Um, it's fine. Everything's fine. See, look, we were we were totally killing it this whole time. Uh, resin removal does not do anything there. And play you. The question is, do we just want you here now? I think this is okay. And then we leave room for little fade at the top and at the end. We can play around the top floor as well. Uh, let's roll you out as well. Uh, we can wild boot sap this guy. Try to keep him alive as long as we can. Okay, well he's just died. Well, not necessarily. He's alive. Give him all the stats. He's got lots of burnout now. That's good for him. Um, this is great. Just kills the whole floor. We're gonna play you up top, and I'm okay if like something if we have to reform some of these units later. Let's just keep growing you. Uh, 
sharpen. Are there any buffs on anything? No. Uh, let's go sharpen and root seeds. Heal you up, give you regen, and double root seeds. Mm -hmm. Killing it. Amazing. Plus we get our big buddy up here for later. Cool. Cycle of Life. Channel Song. I think it's Channel Song. It's a uh, consume card. Uh, we're going to skip. It's a consume card that we can then use to draw any of our units. And even if it hits a Baron, like that's totally fine. Um, let's go with more draw first. And we may take extra capacity later. So then we can go... Uh, two stewards and one, one steward and both uh, the other dudes. All right. Um, I think it's removal and spell upgrades. What do we want to even remove, though? Wicked Blaze, maybe? Or maybe we just get rid of the primitive molds and just keep a permafrosted Wicked Blaze. Because units aren't dying that fast. Like, there's, there's not going to be enough damage rolling out to kill a lot of units. So I feel like the primitive molds lose a lot of value in that case. Permafrost becomes really good. We can remove Consume from Channel Song and just keep Channel Songing forever. That's actually not a bad thought. Because there are some uh, thick stewards we can get out of this. You don't love it? I think it's fine. Multi-strike should be okay. So we go you, then you. Uh, two of these should be enough to kill the front unit. Very good. Um, this guy's going to make it to the pyre. I don't think there's a good way for us to prevent that. So we're not going to try. Let's put Little Fade in the back here. And just stack you with all the regen for now. Okay, there's first channel song. Play you up here. And... Heal Wildwood Sap. Okay, we need another train steward right away. We get both. How many train stewards do we have left in the deck? None. Um, I think here we need to do it. Yeah, we need him to die. And resin removal doesn't do anything. We just do this again. Play it for fun. Give you more spikes. Give you more damage. And how are we doing? We're killing it again. No complaints. We just got that one little bit of damage from the one unit. Resin block. Okay. We need to find a way to kill... Crushing Demise! Okay, that's how we do it. There we go. Uh, invigorating, no. Pyre grow. Pyre grow. Now I think we actually play three floors. Uh, he's going to get extinguished to the front enemy unit. What is the what is the level two upgrade of this? Is it it just increases it, right? What does it increase to? 
I mean, obviously this is not the one we wanted, but what does it increase to? More damage, right? Oh, it's quick? With quick, it's... Wait, it doesn't add quick or it does add quick? If it adds quick, it's worth it. If it doesn't add quick, it's not worth it. We'll see. Uh, let's go for more spell upgrades here over unit upgrades we can't afford. And there's the permafrost on uh, Wicked Blaze. Money. Nope. Hey! Alright. Uh, we're going to play middle floor. Root seeds, wildwood sap. Okay, so this is interesting. We can Crushing Demise here. Because Sharpen isn't going to kill them yet. Or we Crushing Demise here if we're greedy. Or we Crushing Demise here. No, we can't Crushing Demise here. We need to bring back Little Fade. Um, play you here. So now it's a question of greed. Sharpen kills them. It's a very valid point. Um, and then we can Wicked Blaze him. We'll do that. So we get you up front. And then him in the middle. Now we're killing everything. Let's keep you around for a while. Uh, we're going to go, I don't know what, we're going to give you more burnout. I kind of like just playing this. Get rid of it now. We should be able to get, uh, yeah, we can reform one, put him up front. Um... Let's keep you around longer and play this again. Just to keep it real. Um, this is pretty good. We can Crushing Demise or play you, Sharpen, and continue to stack Burnout on you. Okay. Wicked Blaze. Which one's thicker? This one's going to be thicker. Play you up front. Purifying Cleanse. And suddenly, we're killing it. Cool. Alright. Then we actually get the legitimate units that, <laughs> that we want. Uh, skip. Another Pyre Grow. Sure. Five Ember seems pretty good with this build when we have so many expensive things. Yeah, quick and deal 60. What a weird unit. All right, let's uh, let's do removal and so we'll remove primitive molds, and then we'll dupe our unit. So 
So we don't have to take capacity. That seems pretty good. <laughs> don't mind that at all. Okay. So he's killing the backliner. Play you. Thick, thick Stuart. Play you. And let's get you rolling as well. Okay. Second one. Put little fade there as well, I think. He absorbs one of the hits. Is it even necessary though? I don't think so. They can be reformed. This thing was just still going off. It's still killing things. Let's play you. And you. Cool. Because we can reform them. We have all of the burnout extension as well with licklashes and uh, purifying cleanses. So now this guy getting real thick. And we can even kill these guys. Okay. So what I'm going to do is play the better one. Crushing to mize it. Uh, we're not going to play this train steward, and we're going to stack... Let's stack the regen on him. Bring back this train steward to have it die immediately. We're going to keep stacking onto you instead. Because uh, the idea is we want to keep uh, channel songing and reforming. Having targets. So then we can bring back the unit again. Uh, play it again. You're doing just fine. This is a good opportunity to get rid of this uh, cal uh, Calcified Ember as well. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Bring you back. I think it's a good time to play... Let's play you in the back. Like that. Continue to stack you up and just give you more damage. We should be able to get a first floor kill here. Very solid. And bring our buddy back again. Cool. Boom. Sacrificial Resurrection doesn't seem very good in this build. I guess you could use it with Permafrost to yeet out uh, garbage. But we like the garbage. The garbage is one cost, 120 damage spells. And we have like so much Ember. We're going to go even more draw. I feel like we're totally fine. Uh, let's go spell upgrades. We still would like to reduce the cost of some of our spells. Minus one on Wicked Blaze. Um, should we put Holdover on Channel, not on Channel Song? And just like stack a unit forever, every turn, and then play it finally at the end. It may not be necessary. Probably minus one is better. Let's hold over instead. Hold over instead crushing demise, I think. No, we used it twice. Two different units got channel song. We play it both times, it showed up. I think crushing demise is better. Because we can even crushing demise one of our uh we can crushing demise one of our uh, barons and then bring it back if we need to. But I, I'm going to use it as like insurance that the top floor we can constantly be killing. 
which I think is pretty important. It's either that or Purifying Cleanse. Maybe Wicklash. Maybe it's Wicklash. Scale up the damage faster. I actually like that the most out of all those. Channel Song can hit Fade, but you have to wait until Fade um, passes. What if we try... No, we don't want... Channel Song would make it so that Fade is zero cost. How does that... Okay, do we do this for science? Because here's what I'm wondering. You Channel Song Fade... You channel song fade, then she dies. What does her ember cost? Does anyone know? Do we do it for science? Should we try it? Let's try it. Why not? Let's do some science. Um, unnamed tome could prevent us from getting some garbage and I don't love garbage okay uh, paternal flame 3 spikes is fine again we don't we also don't care if uh, the barons die at least one baron dies it's actually okay Okay, so we're going to play Little Fade now. Do we do science now or do we do science later? Let's play you. Play you. Um, I mean, it'd be pretty good to get a unit right now. But I think we can wait. Let's wait until things are a little bit more expensive. So we play Root Seeds on you. Play you up top, and then we wait. Okay. So then, little fade. We put Wickless Baron here. Play this. Little fade here. It's gonna be a lot of Ember Drain. But we are killing the thing, and Little Fate is dying. Um, let's play you up here. One issue is that we're going to have more units than Little Fate in the deck. So we got to get to the point where Little Fate's the only one left. Uh, putting Little Fate in the back or in the front. We could resin removal. We're almost guaranteed to get uh, Wicked Blaze. If we play Little Fade in the middle, 10, 15. So you're getting 6, 10, 15. How are you dying? Oh, because the spikes are 5 each. 5, 10. Uh, okay. This should kill. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Hit, hit, hit. This keeps one of the barons alive. Both barons are alive. But we're not doing nearly as much damage. Through a bizarre coincidence. Not 100% sure how that's working. But uh, I'm sure that it is. Somehow. Um, purifying Cleanse. Oh, the Extinguish Triggers. We actually want them, too. Um, what if you go out up front? And... 
and we unnamed Tomyu. He's going to do a lot of damage to our pirate. That's not really great. Not really what you want to see. Let's give you more damage. You're dying to the extinguish trigger. Uh, let's give it to you then. You do a little bit more damage. Give you more damage. And we don't play little fade. We wait. Are we dead? I'm going to restart. Yeah, we need, to, we need to let them die for the explosions. I totally forgot about that. Because we can bring one back immediately. It's actually probably good to just play them on the bottom floor now. Why not? Let them grow a little bit now. Give them some regen. And play a steward up top. Okay. We need to play all the stewards so that they are uh, not ineligible for uh, getting brought back. Pyre grow. Baron. Fade. Or we can play this guy. No, we can't. He can't fit. We don't. We haven't seen the primitive mold yet. Let's play. Uh, let's play you up here. There's no you up here. We'll wait with little fade because we can always bring it back. Hopefully with channel song now. We have three available units. Um, how are you doing? You are not dying. Let's bring back our buddy. He can block the hits and die and kill the front unit. We can get rid of resin. Or we do this. Play you up front. Get rid of resin. And we're doing a little bit more. Taking four damage to the pyre. Okay, certainly not what you want to see. How do we have that much Ember Drain? Oh, because this guy also Ember Drained there. Yeah, that's right. Um, cannot play anything else. We can just remove your stuff. Okay, now we can play our things. We can bring back this Baron. Bring back the other Baron. Now they're just killing it. Uh, we need extra damage up here if possible. We also need this guy to not die. But we can't stop him from not dying. Um, Wicklash. And Sharpen. So we'll take nine more damage. And we'll get two more Ember Drain. But now we have five Ember per turn. Okay, there's Little Fade. We want her to go away so that we can get... Uh, Channel song. So stack you up. Get you both rolling. Or you know what? Maybe we do play her in the back. She's gonna die anyway. Like that. Cool. Um let her pass. Hope we don't draw her again. I think that's the play. Heal you, heal you, do that. Alternatively, we just play right now and win. Uh, but I think the Barons will kill it. And I would really like to see how the science works here. So we're going to we're gonna go for it. Um, double Root Seeds. We're not going to play Root Seeds because I don't want to accidentally draw a little fate again. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see... Unless, ultimate greed. Uh, well, we can. We can because we can kill one and then put little fade up. For, oh, no, we can't. We won't have enough time. We can't do it. I thought we had time, but we didn't. No, we'll, we'll be able to do it during the Seraph fight for sure. Skip. And I kind of like Invigorating Solution. I think it's okay. Um, what would we remove at this point? 
I don't think there's anything to remove or duplicate, so I think we just go right path here. And then uh, upgrade some train stewards a bit. We can get more multi-strike on one of them, get more damage on another. Uh, Hell's Banners is really good. Spikes dealing double damage is also really good. That's true, we could do that. I think we will do that anyway. Let's go you. Plus multi-strike. Plus damage on the multi-striker. Minus... Uh, the last train steward. Cool, I think this is perfect. The spike stealing double damage is really good. And then now the question is, does Channel Song permanently or temporarily reduce the damage? Okay, so we're going to play Wickless Baron. Little Fade up front. And we're going to go like this. Do we have the train steward that has spikes? We do. So this one has to go here. Play you here. Uh, little fade. How many more units do we have left? Just one. So assuming that we draw it next turn, which is a pretty like good chance we're gonna draw it next turn. Uh, we actually want, I'm okay with this guy dying, I think. Let's play you, play you. Because then we have something to Wicked Blaze. Uh, we'd really like you to do, take more damage though. And we're gonna let this guy go. We just need one of our, one or two of our uh, garbage to come back. So we did not try to try the train we did not draw the train steward. We'll have to draw it again next turn. But we can play this to kill you. And Wicked Blaze. To smack some fools. Um it is a waste. We're doing it for science. Relax. <laughs> Alright. We can kill another one. Question is, which one's more? Actually, we can kill both. So we do this here. Yeah, I do this here. Um... Extra spikes, I think. Okay, now we. Ch uh, wait, Channel Song. Channel, Channel Song is going to hit the next train steward. Um, let's get rid of the Sharpen. Let's put Sharpen on you. Crushing Demise, Yeet, and uh, just give you more damage. Okay. So now we draw our dude. So now we can play Channel Song. What do we want to get rid of? We want to get rid of Unnamed Tome on you. Then we Channel Song Little Fade. Let her die. Bring back our buddy. Get him to be nice and thick. Um, start stacking the Wildwood Saps on him. Get you up top. Wish you were a little bit stronger. Who's the triple multi-striker? Is that one dead? No, it's this guy. Do it, friend. Alright. Now Little Fade dies. I'm not 100% certain that that's where we wanted to play that, but it is where we played it. Um, we'll probably get rid of a Root Seeds. What's our damage? 
Yeah, but there's no way we're gonna one two, yeah, yeah, there's no way we're gonna get enough. We do have a train steward to bring back. Play you here. How much damage are you doing? 72. This would put you at 70. Okay, it's not gonna change anything, so let's just put you here. Take 20 more damage. Okay. It's one cost again. And since we don't need Little Fade here, I think it actually makes perfect sense to uh, delay and play our next turn. Play you. Play you. Get her a little bit thicker. Um, let's yeet Crushing Demise. Do we have a Train Steward that's dead? We still have one that's dead. Okay, good. So then let's... Oh yeah, Wildwood Sap. Hold on. Wildwood Sap. Resin removal doesn't really do anything. Let's just give you more burnout. Um, we're not going to play you yet. We'll go this and this. Cool. All right. So the science did work out. So Little Fate came back with two, uh, like we predicted. We can now bring her back. And if she dies, she only costs one to play next turn. But she doesn't die because she's awesome. Um, root seeds, root seeds, and we're good. Ugh. So look at that. We were able to play Endless Little Fade, so we never have to do it again. Um, we were able to science. All good stuff. What more could you ask for? All right. Let's uh, jump into Stygian. Um, so Stygian, you can go basically either way. You can go... Um, you can go with uh, the Firelight, it's pretty good. And in addition, you can go Little Licorice, or not Little, is it Little Licorice? Yeah, Little Licorice. Uh, it does work because you can uh, hopefully get like armor and stuff like that to play on her. Um, but yeah, Firelight plus Sweepers is the really good, and then Firelight plus, um, yeah. Uh, it's probably the best. I think... How are we going to do... If we have Little Icarus, then we want Frozen Lance. Can you do Weekend? It's one I can never win. What's Weekend? Awake... Awoke, oh. Check out my... Uh, um, check out my... Uh, Awoken. I have two of them. Um, so after this, jump onto the YouTube... If you're not aware of YouTube, it's also it's also Never Nathaniel, and uh, I did one on both Wildington and Sentient. But I think we're gonna go. Uh, Firelight's obviously gonna work, but I think we're gonna go with um, Little Icarus because we haven't played it yet, and I want to get it out. And I think this is a pretty decent one to do because you can get armor, um, you can get armor stacking, and you can also uh, use spells to actually damage units. And I think that helps you to try to get like perfect numbers to kill things. We're gonna try it. If we don't get Little Icarus, then we'll go Firelight, but uh, I, I hope that we get Little Icarus. I think it could work out okay here. Hell's Banners is great. Little Icarus is also pretty good with Seraph the Diligent. We'll take it. We'll take it. So now what we want is a Guardian Stone. A Guardian Stone would make this a lot easier, because then you can put her up front and still just stack. Uh, damage Shield also works if we can't... I mean, you can do Damage Shield with... Uh, You mean with Crypt Builders? I guess it's okay. But I think the problem is is that all the one cost spells get worse and the train stewards, and I think it hurts us in the long run. Blade is like... I don't know. We are going to take this though because this is guaranteed early kills in exchange for Pyre Damage. Which is a good trade. This is going to be three 
instant kills. We can even reduce the damage of it onto our pyre. So as long as we can get a primitive mold here, we will be able to walk away with three easy kills. Of course, you know, why would you get primitive molds when you could not get them instead? Um, Frozen Lance. And, I mean, both of you guys fit. The biggest problem is that, uh, oh, we can actually hit one of these. The biggest problem is that uh, now we have two units in our reform pile. Please hit Little Fade. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, we are killing the backline unit. That'll be the second kill. Not a lot of kills, to be honest, but that's fine. If we could get this guy low enough... He'd have to get pretty dang low, though. So we'll do the 20. And we can get him down to 23. There is a chance. We actually get it. If we get Little Fade, look at this. Two spikes. Did Little Fade not kill it? Wait, what? Oh, Spikes 5. Okay, we're good. Spikes 5. Boom, we get the kill. Amazing. Should not have happened. But uh, by the magic of science, we're good. Okay, Little Fade's going to die. We need to uh, reform. Oh, this is going to be scary. We're going to do this. And we need to get Little Fade back. If we want to get the kill. I mean, if we don't get the kill, we don't get the kill. But please. Is it enough? I think she gets the kill here. What if we put her in the second position? So hold on. One, two, that's 14. Let's do the math here. So if we put her out, she's going to take... So 60 minus 7 spikes, minus 5, minus 5, minus 7 spikes, and Little Fate is doing 26, minus 26... Minus five, minus five. Okay, so we can't put her in the front. What happens if we put her in the middle? So, minus, so it's 60, hold on, 60, minus seven, minus five, minus seven, minus 26, oh wait, no, there's no minus seven, hold on, it's, uh, okay, 60 minus 5, minus 7, minus 26, minus 5, minus 7, minus 26. Okay, that's how we get the kill. We just play her in the middle. Boom. Mathed it out. <laughs> hey, Ryan. Welcome to the stream. Uh, nine spikes out of ring one is not bad. Again, goal is 20 coming out of ring three. Um, nine is not quite enough, unfortunately. So 11 is the perfect amount because 11 means that you can take an armor trial. But uh, nine is pretty good. Um, I'm kind of looking at hallowed drippings just because of the two drafts. That might be worth, maybe it's Wicklash. It's probably Wicklash is just better. Offering token is fantastic. And here we go. We'll take an Encanter. Hopefully it's a Totem. Uh, we'll take a Nameless Siren. We can do all of our reform from up there. Let's give her, you know, let's give the drafts some extra sustain here. Um... Plus 10 on the other draft, and we're not going to do any other upgrades yet. There's armor 10. Again, we can't do it because of the uh, the damage numbers, unfortunately. Uh, so what do we want to do here? I think we want to go... We have to play you on the second floor. Let's play you guys up top. And 
Stack your damage, play you for and camp. Okay. Bring her back. Now she's killing both of them. If we play the train steward somewhere, in fact, if we play the train steward here, we can get Crypt Builder rolling. But I actually don't know if we want to. Do we want to Crypt Build here? I don't think we do. We played up here just for the encant. Okay, we need another primitive mold. Uh, this is killing the front unit and the back unit, but not the middle unit. No real way to get rid of the middle unit. We'll just play a Frozen Lance to increase again. And here... Interesting. Um, so different thoughts. I kind of like upgrading Subsuming Blade here, like this. And then smacking you, which should give perfect damage to kill the... Oh, one damage off. Okay, we take two Pyre damage. That's not bad. Okay, we need reform. She is killing the backliner. If we play the draft, she kills the boss. Oh no, because she doesn't kill the boss because of the uh, sweep. So then we don't want to muddy the, the discard pile anymore. That puts her to 19 already. I mean, we are killing the boss now just by playing uh, this... Uh, Wicklash kills him. We're good. And we come out with 19 spikes after ring 2. That's very, very solid. Uh, molded is fantastic. We do need a targeted mold, I think. And Ice Tornado is kind of interesting. Given that we, uh, well... I honestly think maybe it's it's a uh, energy oh or mollusk mage mollusk mage is also not bad because we have the attuned crypt builders that represents a hundred or forty extra damage on the crypt builders and then we just put an armor dude in front of them as a last resort <sighs> uh, or energy siphon. I don't know. I don't I do not know. I think I don't want to muddy the deck too much. I'm gonna skip. And a remnant unit. I think I'd rather just buff the uh Units we have. Incant armor 2 on you is great. Extra damage on a draft is fine. Uh, I don't really want endless on anything. Quick is kind of interesting. I think I'd rather just get... Mm, I don't really want quick. Quick could be good if you like get the damage numbers where you're hitting the front unit and then it dies to spikes from Little Fade. I guess we try that. It's a little sketch, though. Ooh, purge. Uh, yeah. I think it's the better draft. Because getting extinguished triggers on drafts would be really solid. Getting the revenge triggers is like whatever. And getting the Endless would be really good. Because then we can just start putting Burnout on it. Alright. So. You're going to kill one right from the get-go. Um, I'm going to play you guys out here. And play this here. Okay. Bring her back. Subsuming Blade. Let's see what we get. Yeah, Subsuming Blade. And play you. Bring her back again. We did not get her, unfortunately. 
because of the stupid train steward. Uh, play you here. Play you down here. And Wicklash. Smack you. I'm a little bit nervous. We don't have a... Uh... There we go. Targeted mold. Targeted molded. This is going to kill two of them. Kills all three. Because uh, their rage is going down. I totally forgot about that. Um, did I actually give you Wicklash? How hilarious am I? Uh, let's let you die. Play you up top. And... I don't know. It's all nutty now. Bring back the Siren. Bring back Little Fade. Little Fade is killing three of them. The Siren kills one more. Smack, smack. Play you up top. Primitive Mold. Okay. And... Play you here. Subsuming Blade. You. Obviously Little Fade would be the preference, which we can guarantee. And is Little Fade killing here? Uh... Not quite, but it's pretty close. We're only going to get one more Primitive Mold. I kind of like the idea of playing the Train Steward, Primitive Molding, and then just not playing the Siren. Yeah, 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 that's what we're going to... Although... No, we can play her here. How much uh, Burnout do you have? Little Fade still kills this. Adds a slight bit of damage. Can't do that. One seventy eight. So we're hoping. Didn't get it. How much damage are we taking here? Thirty, one forty-two. That's eight hits. Eight times seven, fifty-six. We can't do it. We have to restart. So we just needed to not play. <laughs> we like literally just don't play the uh, the uh, um, don't play the uh, what's it called the Wicklash on uh, Nameless Iron, and we're fine. Also, don't play the train steward so that you can guarantee to bring back Little Fade here. Yeah. Um, we can do this anyway. Oh, no, no, we can't because then it, it doesn't die. Uh, play you up top. And then hit subsuming. Cool. Bring her back. Twenty-seven spikes. Well, that's a little unfortunate. What if we were to play you and then Crypt Builder? Then you get two kills, and we can increase. That's too much. Let's just give you extra damage. Cool. I keep forgetting about the quick. Um, 25. You kill, you hit, you kill. Uh, this might actually be better here. Play you up top. And smack you, smack you. 
do that. Okay. Then we can kill two more right now. You're at 29. It's pretty close. Oh, it's super close. It's actually perfect. As long as we don't incant too many times. Play the draft up here. Uh, yeah, because we're pretty likely to get Wicklash. Uh, don't play anything down here. Okay. We're going to have one unit in the discard. Three forty three. All right, it's a fifty fifty shot. And we got the wrong one, but we do get a hit for that. We can play you up front, give you Wicklash, and now we're killing the boss. We're good. 35 spikes going into uh, Ring 4. That's amazing. It's really, really strong. It's not the best I've done, but it's certainly one of the better. Um, Harness the Titan is kind of interesting. We have quite a bit of spell damage. I don't mind it. Offering Monument is also very good. But Siren of the Sea is like actual legitimate sustain, which we don't really have right now. Two armor is not really going to cut it. Uh, I'm going to go left path here and dupe the Offering Token. Or molded. Probably the molded. Having two molded is really good. Being able to guarantee we can get a little fade back. And now, yeah, going into ring four with uh, 35 spikes is pretty good. We can actually handle the armor. So we'll take it. Certainly not on the frontliners, but the frontliners aren't hitting us anyway. This is perfect. Like... You couldn't ask for a better setup there. Let's put you guys up top. And then just encant to our heart's content. Okay. Bring her back. Put her here. With a train steward. We get the kill. Okay. We'll bring her back again. Uh, if she were living... Actually, hold on. 60 plus 46 is 106. It's pretty close. If we flash freeze and get another flash freeze, that would be enough. Uh, it's pretty tight. And you have to ask, is it worth it? Maybe. Um, drag behind? Kills him. Drag up front, he gets a kill. What's more important? We get to kill anyway. I think we want her to be reformed. And then we just play the spells up here to incant. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't get bring back anything this time. Uh we won't play Wicklash either. Okay, so we gotta get it we gotta get her for the top floor now. We can get her. Which is very good news. It means we're killing the back 
middle. Uh, with enough spells, we might actually be able to do it. We play the train stewards here. Um, subsuming blade. 11 plus... This is 115. 11 plus 6, 17 is enough, I think. Perfect. We didn't need it, but it was really close. Okay, molded. Bring you back. Molded. And unfortunately, this one guy is making it to the pyre. There's not a lot we can do about that. Uh, I would like to have less garbage in the, you know, in the redraw pile. Let's put, uh, hmm, put you out like that. Okay, it's a lot of garbage we just got. Please, didn't get it. Ugh. Not being able to play Little Fade was really bad there. Okay, we have to restart. We have to have Little Fade on the bottom floor by the time they go Relentless. That's just mandatory. So we may have to skip out on some of the kills in order to make sure that Little Fade is always on the bottom. The alternative is that we play these guys on the bottom too. Maybe that's better. Like this. Like that. Okay. Uh, we can bring back Little Fate again. We can smack this fool. Uh, Little Fate is living, so I don't mind playing the giraffe right now. And then just exercise all damage and we get less garbage. Okay, we just need a little bit... Harness the Titan, 11 damage is not quite enough. Okay. Targeted mold. And... Ugh, this is a rough one. We play a little fade here. Play Train Steward there. Snipe, I think, him. Now snipe him. And then Frozen Lance. And this does mean that we're killing all the backliners. And I think that's good enough. Uh, let's get rid of Wicklash here. Molded, bring back the draft. Um, oh, we're killing him. Okay, we're good. Get up there, friend. Excellent. Two more kills. Putting him at 50 spikes. Or putting her at 50 spikes. So we need to get another 50 spikes in the next three ring or next two rings. Skip. And there's the Guardian Stone. I like that a lot. Now I'm okay with actually increasing capacity. Uh, Heaven's Aid. Yeah, we'll hold on. Get it quick, too. We still need to yeet out a lot of stuff, though. We haven't really gotten rid of a lot of cards. I guess we go right path. We do have a Siren to upgrade as well, so that makes sense. Get rid of two Train Stewards. May even spend money to get rid of more Train Stewards. We'll see what we get upcoming. We'll go Spells here. Units and Removal there. Spells and removal there. Okay. Generic stats on the Guardian Stone. Plus 10 damage on the Draft. Reroll. Multi Strike on the Siren of the Sea. Plus 10 on the Guardian Stone. I think. Yeah. Something like that. 
And now we can stack armor onto Little Fade, which is pretty good. Uh, let's purge another card. Let's get rid of another Train Steward. And I think we end up getting Permafrost on the... Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know how we do this. Multi-strike and sweep. Multi-strike should be fine. They're going to die to uh, the spikes. Play you here. Uh, we can afford to kill a couple of them. Like that. Okay, uh, this is good. I think we go your Siren of the Sea. Let's play you. Play you. Block this hit. Uh, get you up top with one of these guys. And we're not going to play this draft. We don't want it to muddy the pool. Okay. Bring back Little Fade. And we're going to try to do as much damage as possible. We go one, two, and okay, we lose the dude, but let's hope that we don't uh, get him on accident. Okay, Little Fade, that's great. Little Fade's... We're killing everything. Holy cow. Um, Harness the Titan. Also, Simian Blade would have killed the Clip Defender. It's fine. It kills this guy anyway, or it gets really close. We're gonna take some damage here. Holy cow, we almost died. Okay, we can bring back Little Fate again. Primitive Mold, something else. Okay, interesting. Harness the Titan, smack ya, and we don't play it. Bring back the Guardian Stone. Uh, Wicklash. Primitive Mold. Get in there. Primitive Mold. Primitive Mold. And play you in there as well. Alright, how's it going? Not so great so far. But... We can stick this draft in here. And we can play this. Put the train steward up top. One, two, three, and we're killing him. Okay, we took a lot of damage there. Uh, what are we at with spikes? 89. So we're getting pretty dang close. Um. I'm going to skip. I don't think this is necessary. I'd rather get the money right now. And stealth is interesting. The only problem is that it, it gets applied to... Is, is it Mortal Entrapment instead? Mortal Entrapment is all, also entuned, which goes well with the Crypt Builders. Yeah, I think that's okay. And I really like Preserve here. So that we can just kind of hold on to cards until we need them. All right, now the draft is quick and has an extinguish trigger. And we only have to get like six kills during the next fight. This is a really good time for us to be going on the right path here. Get some pyre health. Uh, minus one to harness the titan. Plus 10 to the crypt builder. Reroll. Permafrost on... Is it Mortal Entrapment? 
and we just hold it for the boss. Minus one on the molded. And I think we're good. That's some really good upgrades. Having the permafrost is just really just for bosses, basically. That we can get a, a nice three turn stun. Okay, so we're going to go like this. We're going to play you. We're going to play you. And then we're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to hit you with this. Because quick and then kill. All right, fantastic. We can play you out here. Bring back our buddy. He's now killing both of them. We could already subsuming blade and reform as well if we wanted. Uh, I think instead we go like this. We play you up in the middle. And we subsuming blade Arcus. Okay. Uh, Days is a bit scary, but we're doing 95, 95, uh, spikes damage. And, oh man, it's so close. Let's put you behind and leave it like th this. There we go. You're going to kill him just fine. Let's bring back Little Fate again. Play this on the Crypt Builder and smack some fools. We are now at 110. So we surpassed the goal. Um, harness the Titan. This is all the things that we want. Wicklash. Primitive Mold. And that's all we're going to get out. Okay. But everything is dying. Cool. Weight of Contrition. Well, Little Fade's not going to die right away. But Little Fade will be killing everything. And... I think we can afford to play a draft here. Specifically... This draft. Does not steal kills away. Oh, it does. It steals one kill away. Dang. Well, there you go. Frozen Lance. Mortal Entrapment. Okay. And we did get one garbage out of that. But we can bring back our buddy. Let's play him on this floor now. This floor now. And Frozen Lance Molded. Okay. How are we looking? We have one turn of days. And I think now we're good. We just bring back Little Fade. Ideally. Okay, Guardian Stone. Little fade, little fade, kills. Almost. Uh, let's go one. There we go. And guardian stone. Let's do the math here. Uh, 128, 167, 30, yeah, yeah, then it dies on the next hit. We're good. Boom. We're rolling in with 130 spikes. That's really, really strong. Wickless recruitment could become really valuable. Ice and pyre is also very good, but I think I think wickless recruitment. Being able to get rid of burnout might become relevant. And it is a free spell that we can always play. And let's go capacity so that now we can fit uh, both sirens and the armor and the little fatal on one floor. Unit upgrades and removal. I think we still have a train steward somehow. And 
frozen lances, I think, are the next thing to go. We have a lot better spells. Uh, we just need more sustain. So, oh, is that better? Really better than another multi strike? It can't be. We'll, we'll take another multi strike. And I will remove a frozen lance and a. We'll leave it at that for now. Okay. Should be good now. Eight damage, plus eight damage. Gilded Wings don't die in one hit, they die in the second hit. This means that basically everything will kill Little Fade. I don't think it's worth it. Everything kills Little Fade the first time they hit it, and I think that's too dangerous. I mean, we're already going to have problems. Uh, let's play you guys on the middle floor. And this actually means we kill the first two units. 30, 60, hit, dies. How do we kill the second unit? Oh, because of the extinguish trigger. Forgot about that. Okay, we actually managed to get... Uh, all of our stuff here. Let's go you here. One, two, and amazingly enough, we can actually kill this collector. Yeah, I think that was definitely the play. Bring back Little Fate again. I wish I could Wicklash this guy, but it's not in the cards. Um, one, two, and then primitive mold. Okay. Not really what you want to see, but it could be worse. We'll play you up front. Subsuming blade, the backliner. No, play this. So, assuming play the backliner and then play this on the giraffe. The giraffe is not dying! Alright, so we play a little fade on the bottom. Okay. Literally, one damage? Okay. I mean, I guess. Um, Crypt Builder does instantly kill both of them. Can they survive? He, she can't survive 60 damage, though. But well, we're still going to do it. And then we play Little Fade on the top. Hopefully. There's Little Fade. Play her on the top. She kills both and then dies. Play a draft. Siren of the Sea. Can block these hits. We can smack this guy out of the way. Harness the Titan. Mortal Entrapment. Um, play you down here. We'll save Mortal Entrapment for the boss. Okay. So, we have a targeted mold, that's what we want. Let's start with this one. May give us the Siren. And then... Bring back Little Fade. Um, what are the chances that we draw another one? This is two immediate kills, I think we're gonna do it. Um, Wickless Recruitment on you to remove your burnout. And then just play spells. Like that. Okay. Targeted mold. Brings back Little Fade. And Little Fade hopefully is getting... Let's do the math. 
Do the math. All right, so 1119 minus 95 minus, hold on, there we go, minus 159 minus 193 minus 59 minus 59 minus 15. Okay, that's the first attack. Then minus 93, because we're going to lose one rage. Minus 159, minus 193, minus 59, minus 59, and the siren's getting the kill. Um, if we play spells and subsuming blade... So if we go Wickless Recruitment for free, we have to overcome a lot of damage, like a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Let's do this. This gives us all the spell damage we need. Okay, let's do this some math now. So, one, 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 whoop. One, 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 one. One, one. 1, 9, minus 50 for the mortal entrapment, minus 99, minus 193, oh, I didn't do the math right. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to go for it here. Okay, we were off by 7 damage. Literally one more uh, encant would have done it. But, you know, you know how it is. Alright, skip here. And Ice Storm is pretty good, but I think uh, it is pretty good. We're going to be doing spell upgrades and removal. We'll take it. Remove two Frozen Lances. Would really like Holdover on the... Um, we like hold over on the uh, harness the titan. We have nothing that consumes. Permafrost on it is also okay though. Then we just hold it for when we need it. It's so minus one onto the other primitive mold. Plus twenty onto a frozen lance. And we did not even check. It's probably going to be Founding Seal. It's not. Okay, we would have gotten a Forgotten Name, which would have been pretty useful. But I think all of the upgrades here were pretty nice. I don't want to remove any other cards because we need stuff to consume. It's going to be interesting how this one goes. Okay. So we could immediately kill some stuff. One artifact kind of game, yeah. Um, I think we hold here, we get one garbage. Okay. Then we play you. We play you. We get rid of the offering token. Get rid of this. Reform our buddy. <laughs> Giving us a lot of damage immediately. And then if we kill you, you die, you die. Actually, it ends up being that you kill him, you die, and then you kill him. Okay, that's fine. So. We go... Draft. Preserve. I'm actually going to preserve... I'll preserve the dead weight. Uh, 
This kills the first two units, then they kill the next two. Well, it yeah, it does because of the uh, quick. Get rid of both of these. And we've not had to get rid of one of our reforms yet, which is pretty important. Okay. Um, I think I can afford to get rid of Subsuming Blade. Or maybe it's one of the primitive molds. Let's get rid of one primitive mold. Which we honestly kind of have to do. Get you back. This is killing everything, which is amazing. Let's put you up here and remove your burnout and see if we can keep it alive. And then I'm like, subsuming blade this guy. Okay. All right. Guardian stone comes out. Um, frozen lance. Ice storm. We need you right now. It's not amazing, uh, but we can then. Oh, duh! We can primitive mold. Bring back little fade. We should. I didn't even realize we had a primitive mold in the deck. My bad. Um, give you extra stats. Okay. Okay. And because you're quick, you're gonna kill everything that comes up here, very quickly, uh, which is what we like to see. Uh, oof. Playing this out. Means we kill everything. And we just lose it immediately. Which might not be terrible. I certainly would rather lose the Crypt Builder than lose the uh, Molded. And then we just take five damage. I think that's the play. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of a primitive molten. Let's get rid of a wicklash. Who to put it on to though? Maybe on to you. And we hope that we get uh, the Wickless Recruitment soon. So I'm also like, what if we played you down here? And then played this up here. She is living. Okay. There's a Wickless Recruitment. We also have a Crypt Builder. We don't have anything that comes back to us, though. So we go... Huh. Do we just smack? And then we play this. Does not live though. But the rest do a little bit more damage, and I guess that's worth it. Okay, we need a little fade like desperately now. Not looking great. What a turn. Um, harness into Ice Storm. Uh, we play you, play you, and hit you. And then we pray. We gotta get, I guess we, we're gonna get molded, so that's gonna happen. So we get something back. Siren of the Sea. Okay. Into Little Fade. Uh, 
into draft into mortal entrapment 1905 wow we got some awful turns in there like we were totally set until we got screwed at the end i think we need to try to play on the bottom And what I think we do is we do this, this, play the Crypt Builder, harness the Titan, make sure that both of them die. One, two. In fact, if we put this up front, Then only this guy lives, and he's easy to kill. Okay, Siren of the Sea. Uh, play Offering Monument. Molded. Primitive Mold. Um, you die anyway. If we block 10, 15, 3, hit, and hit, then you're living for a turn. You die anyway. We have no one to play this on. And we can afford all the damage. It's a little bit screwy, but... Let's go with, uh, oh, we could actually play you. You're quick. Little fade. Everything's dying. That's really good news. Play you here. Wickless Recruitment kills all three because of the Extinguish Trigger. That's right. Um, play this to keep this in hand. We could even kill one to keep it around for a long time. Let's do that. Now he doesn't die. We don't take any Pyre damage. Okay. Uh, subsuming Blade, I think. Or is it one one of the primitive molds, or is it the ice storm? Hmm. Let's go. Let's go ice storm. Primitive mold. Primitive mold. Play you here. One and subsuming blade. Okay. There we go. Smack. Little fade. Play this. 10, 10, 10. So we can go one more exactly. And then we can start getting the days rolling. Okay. You're totally fine. Um, get rid of a primitive mold. And remove your burnout. Play these out. Okay, Little Fate needs to die this turn, which she does. Uh, we can also Subsuming Blade. You, you, yeah, you. And we keep the preserve. Okay. I don't know if we got it, but this is certainly the best it's looked so far. Uh, we only have one unit to bring back. I think it's the harness, the Titan. 
Bring back little Fade. Molded. Remove Burnout. Or no, no, no. We preserve the Remove Burnout. Smack you for 85. 1,458 damage. Okay. One. Two. We play you up top. Remove your burnout. Should have given you Wicklash first, but it's fine. Alright. Here we go. Big money. Siren of the Sea. Alright, it's fine. We put you in the back. Remove your burnout. Not enough. Oh my gosh! Just getting so screwed here on these last little bits of the turns. The, the last alternative is that we play on the top floor, but then we lose capacity. This is tough. That adds 25 damage. It's preset. So I'm just trying to think. Wondering if we take if we keep the offering token if that actually changes things a bit. Hold this draft. We have to get rid of one primitive mold here. And I'm wondering if we can actually afford to play her by herself on the bottom floor. Not quite doing enough damage yet. Into you. Who would we subsuming blade? This guy? Maybe this guy. Okay. 
play you. Play this. Play this. Quick Lash you. Uh, Ice Storm down here. Okay. Little Fit has to die next turn. I think that's going to happen. Uh, we can now remove Burnout from you. And get rid of both garbage. Okay, that's fine. Take one player damage. Okay. This floor we have to deal with without uh, Little Fade. So given that setup, we kill you. Um, Ice Storm. That is keeping the Guardian Stone alive. They should be able to kill this guy on their own. That will help. Okay. Basically, the goal here is to keep Little Fade out of the fight on the um, top floor. So we go offering token, or in the middle floor, so we can bring her back again afterward. Like this. Get some damage out, and then bring her back next turn with a molded. We can play you here. Extinguish triggers killing you, that's all good. Okay, now how are we doing? All right, so we go Ice Storm. Bring back all three units. And then I think we put Little Fade in the back. Or at least in like second position. 246 damage per hit is no joke. Then we can Mortal Entrapment. Then we can Wickless Recruitment. <sighs> My goodness. Success. Okay, so apart from this last fight, which was a little bit tricky to navigate. That was a pretty smooth run. Um, what would what would have made this a lot smoother? I mean, we needed big damage spells, I think, at the end. Like Ancient Synergy would have been really good. Maybe keeping more Frozen Lance. No, Frozen Lances were not very good. I don't know. Maybe some more Consume cards would have been good. Hard to say. But we're on to the last run. Uh, certainly the day is going better than it did yesterday, <laughs> which was a nightmare. And we can we can go easy here. We won't take Plink because we're not uh, masochists. And uh, we'll go Shade Splitter and then we'll do uh, ideally Firelight. But this is also a build where you can go a uh, little Licorice or Endless. But obviously if we want it to be smooth, then Firelight just kind of wins. The nice thing about uh, Umbra is that you have a lot of like ways to buff um, Little Fade if you end up going one of the other two routes. So you can get damage shield, you can get um, you can get multi uh, you can get multi strike, you can get trample. So there's lots of ways to take advantage of other types of little fade. I think we'll go with combustible wax here. And firelight. Okay. Also, don't try to do a Morsel Firelight build, because if Little Fate accidentally survives, even if it is going to die to burnout, it eats all the Morsels. 
<laughs> just a tip. Um, 10 damage. 10 damage is a little scary, but I think we might be okay. Uh, given how easy it is to over to or to get burnout. We just need to get some early... Um, oh wow, this actually helps a lot. Uh, play you... Uh, no. So all status effects that get applied um, get removed on death. Yeah, so multi-strike, trample, uh, if you could apply quick, or no, sorry, you can play like quick. If you could apply sweep, uh, quick, um, basically anything that's a status effect that gets applied by a card, even endless. No, actually, no, endless is the one exception, which I don't understand that exception. All the rest don't work that way, but for some reason endless does. Um, let's play your top for, uh, okay, that's a little awkward. But she will still die to this guy, which is the important thing. And we'll see what we get here. Yeah, we're not going to get another health one. We'll let you die. Okay. Uh, pack morsels. Yeah, just give you lots of stuff. Seems. Oh, wait, we wanted to... Uh, I'm a fool. We wanted to put more stuff on there. That's okay. We'll go this here. He is dying, but we can do something like this and then just play all these down here for maybe a train steward. I mean, these morsels are going to get real thick, but we're going to take some pyre damage as a result of our misplay there. Uh, okay, bring her back. And Tumber Morsel, what are you doing here? Uh, play you here. Five, five. Damage shield health. Are you really only doing... I guess because of the armor. Hold on. Let's retry this. Uh, it did not make any sense to play it the way we did it. We needed to play the train steward up there. Everything else was fine, I think. Although, you know, we could probably reform. Let's go with this. Kill you. And we'll play you up here for later. Excellent, so now we can reform. Uh, put Little Fade in the back, because we don't want her to absorb the morsel here. Get another morsel, and make this train steward real fat. Oh! Crap, I forgot! I added uh, all that, uh... <laughs> I had combustible wax! I'm a fool! Combustible wax was an awful decision. I totally forgot that we've reformed Little Fade. Now it can't die naturally. It's very problematic. Don't do it at home. <laughs> oh my gosh. The misplays, they are real. Uh, yeah, do that. Okay. Get you rolling up here. Give you extra. And here's hoping. Come on, little fade. Excellent. Get these guys all rolling. Give you more burnout. Uh, play both of you down. Actually, that's a mistake, but it's fine. I think they should still be okay. They're doing a lot of damage. They have a decent amount of health. But that was actually just a, a flat-out mistake. Um, killing you seems more important. And maybe? We don't, but... We can block a hit here, which adds 30 extra damage, which gets us there. Okay. By one hit. Um, hmm. Molded. Space Prism. Paraffin Enforcer. Okay. Now we just need some one capacity units to fill out the floor. Uh, or we go Wickless Baron and we get Multi-Strike. Let's get uh, Wickless Baron some starting damage and leave it like that for now. We need Multi-Strike. Extra damage is fine. Um, so, 
We can play everything. It's enough to kill... Let's see, if we play it like you, then you, then you. We kill the front unit, we don't kill the second unit. What do we get here? This might kill the collector. Okay. It does not because the collector decided to go elsewhere. Um... This is a tough decision because I could also put Little Fade here, get the Train Steward rolling with a with a Shade Splitter, and then we would kill both of these guys. Where well, there's no way for us to kill the Collector. Uh, that's kind of greedy, but I think we're okay to do that. I think we're okay to greed a bit here. Oh, it's actually not even greedy. It's like less greedy because we're killing things that aren't getting reached the pyre. Okay, so now we can bring back a uh, little fade and purifying cleanse. Um, we'll block here with you. Probably this guy. Just give him more stats. Excellent. How are we doing? We're actually killing the boss. Pretty hilarious. We can even do this. And suddenly we're really killing the boss. Okay. Capacity reduction would be pretty slick, but multi-strike is going to be fine on its own. Uh, we don't need another purifying cleanse. We don't need stealth. Another space prism. Space prisms are great. Space prisms mean uh, more units that can fill out the floor. Uh, do we want a gorge floor? I don't think so. A second paraffin thug would be nice, but I'd rather dupe one after we upgraded it first. So let's go left here. I don't think we want Lady of the House. We really just want to dupe a multi-striking paraffin enforcer. That would be pretty sick. Uh... Let's re-roll for a chance at multi-strike. Quick. I actually don't really want quick. Um, let's give the Wickless Baron more HP. And we're still going to hold out for uh, multi-strike. Copy a card. Copy a card five times. Um, Space Prism. Now we can take a lot more units. Because we can fit them all. And it turns out that if a lot of units are uh, getting hit with the extinguish trigger, it's pretty good. So we're going to go, this is perfect, we got to play you, we got to play you, we got to play you. Increase the space, grab one of these. Fantastic. Just need another space prism in this next draw. Did not get one, but it's fine. We can play you here. Kill everything. Uh, give you more stuff, and then we just save these for later. Okay. Still lacking the capacity here. We can get some thick morsels. Does this not work on morsels? I guess he is doing five damage. Okay. I don't know if that was actually good. That might have been actively bad. Because now we have all those in our reform pile. But I'm not going to worry myself about little things like that. We're going to go all in on potentially getting... Wow, did not get little fade. Sad day. Uh... Yeah, block the hits. Sure. Get up here, block the hits. Well, now is now Little Fate's guaranteed to come back, and we can kill the next unit. Maybe. Let's bring back Little Fade. Still no Little Fade. Okay, you know. As you want. I mean, it's <laughs> we're still fine. It's just a little weird. We just lost our uh, buddy there. Okay, now we can guarantee bring back Little Fade. 
put a train steward back here, increase the capacity, also bring back this morsel, and somehow in some way we're totally killing it here. Sure, do your thing. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bounty Stalker. No. We don't take you. Sorry, buddy. Nor Shroud Mitosis. Um, I'll take a Tycoon. It's bad if we get it on the first turn, but... Uh, well, it's not actually bad. As long as we don't get three units on the first turn and we get enough um, of our... Hold on. Do we already dupe another Wickless Baron? No, we want to dupe the Paraffin Enforcers. But they need to get upgraded. When's our next up unit upgrade? Oh my gosh. It's far away. It's not what you want to see. Nope. And... Minus one and permafrost on the molded seems really strong. That means we can wait out uh, until... Yeah, we can, we can basically hold on to it to guarantee that um, Little Fade gets reformed. This should be just fine. Our uh, Wickless Barons get pretty thick. Okay, so we get a Tycoon first. Let's go top floor for safety here. Give ourselves plenty of time. Sure, get more damage. Give you all the regen. There we go. That's what you want to see. Get you in second position. Whoops. Give you guy armor for no reason at all. I like that a lot. Uh... This is not good. We're taking an extra 10 damage for no reason. We're taking 38 damage here. Now what you want to see. We have to kill right now. So luckily we get a primitive mold, which should give us enough stats just to kill the front unit. How is that possible? Okay, we have to play this differently. How do we get enough damage early enough? Hmm. We play you. Increase all the space. Get you in the second position? No, you in the third position. Shade Splitter. This gets like the tiniest bit of extra damage. Okay. I mean, this guy can go to the pyre and we still survive. But it's like real scary. Get you in the back. And don't play anything else. This is do or die. We have to we have to kill right now. Okay. So Susumi so Blade actually saves us. I mean we were gonna be fine anyway, sorry. I shouldn't say it saves us, because it But we can do this. And then Play a packed morsels just to get uh, life steal. Oh wow, that was really close. We really need. I don't know. We need something. Ha not having any uh, multi strike at all is like really unlucky. We didn't get a draft. We didn't get anything. But I think we're still okay. Heal you back up, and we're good. And we just have to get more units, I guess. So Swimming Blade is not enough to kill them yet. Let's kill one of them then. We should be okay now. 
Yeah, we're good. But man, that was that was kind of scary. Oof. So we get there, but it takes us a hot minute. We're not going to take this. We don't need the morsels. Uh, I don't believe we take this either. So we just skip. We need damage. None of this is damage. Skip. Oh, I'm nervous about this one now. I was fine until all of a sudden things are looking scary. Do we go for... What could we get here that could possibly be good as relics? Ember, capacity, uh, lifesteal, endless, resin block, fades first blade, exploding candle. There's a lot of stuff we could get. In terms of spell upgrades, honestly, there's not really a lot we need to upgrade. Maybe making Subsuming Blade cheaper, but that's basically it. So I'm going to I'm gonna go for a huge risk here. Mold Braces seems okay. Um, and then Trinkets. Uh, it's got to be Wax or Snuffer. That scales us much faster than uh, Fade's First Blade. Okay, maybe with Wax or Snuffer we're fine. We're not going to take this at all. Absolutely not. We will just die instantly. So now, if we play all both of them, they're both going to get plus 30, plus, plus 30 damage. Um, but I think we play on the top floor and hope that we have more time. Because we need more time. Uh, you aren't dying. You will kill one of them. You'll kill a second one. And you can go here. Okay. How's it looking? We'll take one hit and we, we just lose. I don't know if there's a way we can do this. I think we just lose. It's the only thing I can think of doing. Playing you out. Then going Morsel Excavator here. Lowering your damage by a bit. And I'm not even convinced this is enough either, by the way. We still have to get yeah, 81 damage is not enough. We just lose. We just lose, guys. Unless... Last thought is playing on the bottom floor and getting a reform. Here. I don't remember if we got a reform here, though. We did. So we play you, get you in there, get a rubble morsel up here. This rubble morsel is going to have to like kill it here. And it doesn't work because he doesn't die. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I figured it out. Ah, okay. You go little fade, increase capacity. Um, Wickless Tycoon, Wickless Baron. Train Steward, I think, is too big. Because we need to fit two morsels behind. One, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to fit two morsels behind. 
So we're gonna do it like this, and now play the Train Steward. Play you. Go one, two morsels. Both of them smack them for a lot more damage. Then we bring her back again. It's still not enough. Is there anything else we could do? Yes, we can. We could play the train steward at the bottom. Or we can play them all at the bottom. Play the train steward at the top. Wait a minute. Is this enough? Is, does he have enough health? Two? He gets five, 13. Yeah, it's, an, uh, it's enough. Because he gets the double. Yeah, he gets it doubled. Play this. Do this. Okay. We kill one. <laughs> we bring back Little Faith. Play you here. Play you here. Double. Wait, we can't afford it now? Why can't we afford it now? Is it still enough, though? It might still be enough, though. 16 damage. It's still not enough. Little Fate doesn't die. How do we do this? How did that, how did we not have enough Ember? I'm very confused about that. So we play you. Play you. That's all fine. Play you guys up top. Increase capacity. We have to reform with this, but then I don't think we get the reform next. Play you. One. Two. One. Two. That does 52 damage. Oh, the problem is Little Fae doesn't die though. We, oh uh, yeah, we don't get her back. Gosh dang it. Okay, I think I have a last last possible strategy here. You go big fat man, kills one. Little fade goes here, increase capacity, wickless tycoon, train steward, and do this. Okay, now he kills one. Now we can do this. Like we do. Little Fade's not too fat now, or not too not too uh, healthy to not die to this guy. Get him down to 51. And then, somehow, we had enough damage to kill him. Increase all the capacity. We need a lot of stuff down here as well. Uh, do this. Get as much stuff as we can. Um, just increase capacity all the way. I mean, they're doing enough to kill if we can get Little Fade back and then Little Fade dies. We get to get Little Fade back. Little Fade dies. We're killing everything. Holy crap. Get you in there. Increase capacity. Give you all the stuff. And suddenly, what was impossible <laughs> is starting to look like it might actually happen. All right, Wickless Baron, get your butt in front. Block these hits. Uh, give you more burnout. And uh, more rubble morsels. Okay, this is the this is the turn. We get little fade. Little fade is dying barely. 
And we are clearing the floor of all the baddies. My goodness. Okay. Woo. We're going to bring back Little Fade. And uh, that's it. We don't want anything else. Okay, we can put some uh, morsels up top. And then we can guarantee bring back Little Fate again. I don't think we need it, but we're going to do it. Oh my gosh. Scary stuff, guys. Get in there. Subsuming Blade you. Holy crap. Okay, I should not have gone right. I should have gone left, and then we would have saved ourselves a lot of trouble. I don't know if sick is the right word. Like, I would, I, I feel sick. <laughs> um, we can probably afford engine up. Well, do we need extra ember? I don't think we necessarily need extra ember. Uh, wretch is kind of bad. Let's just skip. Cannibalize is kind of interesting because you can cannibalize Little Fade to bring her back, but. Uh, Unit upgrades. It's time. Plus health. It's all the things. Let's still get rid of you guys because you're still bad. And multi-strike, please. We'll take anything, but multi-strike would just be killer. On the paraffin enforcer. Give the paraffin enforcer more health so that it can tank. Uh, we don't need to give anything burnout. Let's reroll. We're not going to get large stone. We're going to get more health, more damage. And then we're going to dupe the Paraffin Enforcer uh, as soon as we get the bottom. We'll, we'll dupe him here. Okay. Garbage in the deck is going to be a little rough. Luckily, we we took an ember. Did we take the extra ember? We didn't take it because we're fools. Um, ember is going to be a problem. Yeah, ember is going to be a problem. What we're going to do here... If we increase capacity, play you, you're gonna do... You're gonna kill everything. We gotta do this. We have to do this. We have to prevent all the garbage. This is more important than all the things right now. We're not preventing the garbage! How is that even possible? How? That's amazing. In all the wrong ways. We can do this. Get you in there. And good luck to us. Okay. We're just going to play garbage out. That's all we can do this turn. And uh, stack you with burnout. That's it. We take one extra damage. But now we can afford to bring back Little Fade. Increase capacity. Should have played the other one because uh, that would have been way better. Uh, but I think we're in a good spot now. Increase you when we're good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And let's hope that we draw the other garbage like at an opportune moment. That was the opportune moment. We didn't draw it, but it's fine. Sure. Get more stats. I mean, that was going to happen because, you know, when else would it happen? Uh, get you in there. And... I mean, everybody's rolling really, really well right now. More than enough burn on everything. Alright. That should be the last damage we take. Because Fel cannot survive this floor. It's too big. In fact, we can do this. Bring Little Fade back again, and then Little Fade absorbs all the hits. Cool. Excellent. We got there. Uh, trample, yes. And still more draw. Uh, we need to upgrade spells. Since we already upgraded our units all to ma maximum, 
Um, we get to dupe on the spell side as well, which is fantastic. So we can dupe our Paraffin Enforcer. Uh... I guess we have a yeah we have a lot of uh, consuming cards with the uh, um, space prisms. Minus one to subsuming blade, permafrost. Onto trample stone. Reroll minus one onto Subsuming Blade, and we're good. Okay, that's just in case we can't play the Trample Stone when we draw it. And now we're set. That's going to be plus fifty damage and plus ten health every time Little Fade dies. Uh, we don't need the money, so we're not going to risk it here. And let's just finish her off. Um. This is a surprising turn of events here. Uh, let's play you up. You know what? We can actually kill you twice. That gives you enough damage, doesn't it? 50, 100, 115 is not enough. Plus six, yeah, it's not enough. What about with all of the morsels on the floor? Then it's actually enough. So we do this. This, this is actually kind of funny. We play you. Play this. Get both of you rolling out here. Kill her off. <laughs> Bring her back. Uh, means we get one Ember Drain. You get some stuff, but it's fine. Maybe we get a collector with those. You know, who knows? Uh, well, uh, we're not, but it was a cool idea. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Increase capacity, and a little scary. We're gonna have to like play consume spells just to make sure we're we're killing it here. Um, trample on you should be enough to kill everything, and then yeah, we just need we just need consume spells. So we do that, we go one, two, we're killing that guy now, three, four, bring back little fade. Excellent. That morsel that could. Keeping us honest. There we go, there's little fade. And fill up the floor with morsels as well. And cool. Okay. I think we're still fine. We're still doing insane amounts of damage, not to mention the fact that yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay. So we survived. And I'm really glad we didn't take that trial. That would have just completely ruined the day. Um, skip. Get right into the final fight. All right. Uh, duplicate. To duplicate the paraffin enforcer. And minus one on trample stone. Hold over on... A primitive mold? No. Just start the the great yeeting. Let me see what we have um, in terms of relics first. There might be something worthwhile. Uh, how much? How many morsels do we get? Not a lot. We really don't get a lot. Resin block isn't really necessary. We don't need little fade to get stacked. Let's just remove cards. And I would recommend that we remove Shade Splitters. Oh, actually, uh, one Shade Splitter, two Purifying Cleanses. The Purifying Cleanses are useless. We get so much burnout already. We don't need it. All right, let's do it. 
Let's do it, do it, do it. Luckily, Seraph the Patient doesn't create lots of units that are scary at the beginning. They come later, so we have plenty of time to ramp up. Let's start here. And... This is... Uh, we'll play you guys up here. You're just there to get things. Okay, this is obviously not how we wanted this to go, because now, unfortunately, we can't fit all of our units. But we can trample stone the tycoon. And yeah, we'll play it like that. Okay, we get a dude. We're gonna play one space prism up here to kill it. Another one here. Bring back little fade. And we can shade split. Uh, let's put this one in the back, actually. Because this one can kill the things that are created. Okay. Molded. And then I think it's okay. If this guy dies, we just bring him back. I'm even like, let's block a hit here. Then we are only getting hit. Oh, he's not even getting hit now. Okay, that works. Give us more Ember. Bring back this Entumber Morsel. Very cool. All right, Primitive Mold. Please, one time. Thank you. And this is great. He's going to get hit once, which is perfect. Uh, sure. And then we can give him lifesteal and all the stuff. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay. Fantastic. It's exactly how we wanted that to go. Um, we actually get our dude now. Let's put him here. Little fade up front. And we're in a good spot now. Oh, I should have uh, I should have played that differently. Get in there. Now we have a lot of things that are dead and we don't have the thing on holdover. Or on a permafrost. Okay, we're good. Let's go for it. Maybe we get lucky get little fade here. We don't, unfortunately. So we have to play this to get... But then we only have the, the one other unit. Little Fade's still dying. It's also very good. And we should be totally fine for Relentless here. Even without Little Fade, we're going to have enough damage. These Paraffin Thugs are no joke. My gosh, we're doing a lot of damage, aren't we? Oh, you know what? Please? Oh my gosh. Okay. And we're gaining. Oh my gosh. Little fades OP. Except for the parts where you almost die and you have to replay a hundred times to figure out the perfect combination so that you can kill all the units without getting any pyro damage. Apart from that, little fades OP. An evening of math and science. All right, so with that, that's Little Fade. We did manage to make all three champion upgrade paths work. Don't mix and match unless you're insane. Um, and pray you get Little Fade with Firelight every time. Name of the day has been Bambino. We've had a smooth stream. No complaints. 
in terms of like YouTube didn't go down and Twitch stayed up the whole time. So it's a miracle. The internet is a powerful tool when it's working. You can call me Nate. You can call me Nathan. Please, I ask you, do not call me Nathaniel. And I will see you guys in the next stream. And by the way, I have an idea for future content. So uh, stay tuned. We will start that on Monday. So tomorrow's no stream. It's my day off. Actually, there will be a stream, but it won't be a uh, it won't be a Monster Train stream. I'll be doing a Growing Through Gaming stream with my daughters. So if you're interested in watching that, we will. So I lied to you. It actually is a Monster Train Monster Train stream because uh, Elena wants to do Monster Train, but it's gonna be a different time. So sorry, it's at a much earlier time than normal because uh, my daughters don't stay up this late. And uh, so it'll be Monster Train and also um, Starbound. If you're interested in watching, we'll probably be doing that. Uh, what, like 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time? So if you want to watch that, feel free to join. Otherwise, see you on Monday. We'll be back with some more content.